Hi, right, Blair. Uh, opening weekend, you guys go two and one uh, here in a home tournament. Just looking back on it, your overall thoughts on the, on the weekend? I thought they played really hard. I thought they battled. Uh, we always want certain things to happen in preseason to get them ready for season, and all of those things happened. You know, we won in three. We won a like I said a battle in five, and then we lost in three, which hopefully they won't want to do ever again. How important was that in you know the opening weekend to see your team come back? You go down two sets to Canisius and really fight back and, and dominate the, the final three sets of that match. Yeah, we've been talking a lot about the grind in practice and kind of committing to that and understanding that, hey, if they get a big point, we get a big point. And I thought they really dialed in and did that in that, in that fall second match. Meg, just you know, your overall thoughts. Um, you know, you, you got you got a home tournament, got to play in front of the fans on, on week one. Just mm -hmm. your thoughts of, of what you saw from from yourself and your teammates. Uh, you know, as you guys started the season. Yeah, I think it went really well. I think we really came together as a team, um, and that's always really important, especially so early in the season. Um, and so we had some newcomers step up into a big role, which was really exciting. And I mean, just like Blair said, coming back when you're 2-0, I mean, that's a team building um, type of match. And so it's just now we have that confidence, that chip on our shoulder that we can fight throughout the whole season. So. With so many new faces uh, on the court, um, you know, in, in your main rotation, yeah. did, when you were out there, did it seem like that, that it was newcomers or did you already feel that comfort level? Uh, I know you worked with them a lot in the mm -hmm. summer. You guys had a, you know, a grueling uh, preseason training camp. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, what was that comfort level like, even though you had so many, you know, new players out there? It was great. I mean, it really felt like we've been playing together forever. I mean, we all have really positive relationships and really positive friendships on the team. Um, and I think that's one of our strongest um, aspects and so it was very comfortable playing with each other on the team um, on the court and we really came together well. Blair just talked to us about, you know about some of the individual performances. Uh, Polina had 27 kills against Canisius. Andrea had 22 kills in that match. Uh, you know just what you saw from you know from your outsides uh, you know on that on that first week, first weekend. Yeah they had a tremendous weekend. I think they worked really hard uh, in transition to be ready to attack all the time. They were getting a lot of volume. Uh, but they also did a lot of good things in the back row, which kind of kept us alive. I also thought Lara did a really good job early in the tournament. And then Hannah had just one string of plays that I thought really turned around the Canisius match for us. She had two just sprinting off into the court, running into someone. <laughs> I don't know who. Um, and that kind of acted as the catalyst for the team to turn it around a little bit. And then another one of the newcomers, and I'll make I'll let you talk about it, is your fellow middle and, and Christina Nieves, who played, you know, with, with Cassie out. You know, what would you see from, you know, from Christina out there? You know, you guys, you know, bat, you know, go work together every day in, in practice. Yeah, I mean, I thought she did great. Um, I can't imagine the nerves that she must have been feeling, but she didn't want to show at all, and I thought she did a really good job blocking this weekend. You know, she set up a really good block for our defense to play around, and it made all the difference. So I think she really came out strong. One of the uniqueness that you guys also had was you had some alumni back. Um, I know you guys had a barbecue, uh, I think, with them Saturday night. Uh, first, you know, Meg, for you, like, what was it? What was it like talking to uh, some of the, the former alums that were were in your shoes five years ago, ten years ago, fifteen years ago? I think some maybe even twenty years ago. Mm -hmm. You know, just talking to to some old UB volleyball players. What was that like? Yeah, it was awesome. You know, it's funny. It's just. Um some things never change, I feel like, and then our program has come such a long way too, so it's like really cool to find and be able to talk to the people who kind of started the program that you're in now. Um, it was fun, I got to talk to a past middle blocker, and um, we had some good laughs about how we all want to be setters, and so um, it was good, it was a really great experience, so it's always nice to remember who was there before you, so. And Blair, how important is it to, to, to keep the alums in you know, from this program, regardless of the era, you know, involved in what you guys are doing now and, and, and you know, as you, as you build this program. Right, and that's it. I mean, we're trying to build a program, and that includes the past and the people that got us here. And I think the most important thing is also building a tradition. And to have them come back and support these guys now is just, that's exactly what we're looking for going forward. Well, you know, when you look back on this, Meg, on this last weekend, um, and, you, and you see, you know, a lot of the good things that, that you guys did, I mean, how... What does that bring for the you know your excitement level for for you and for this team and the things that you that you can achieve this year? Yeah, I mean it just amps it up even more. You know what I mean? Um, you're already excited coming in, and then you have a really strong first weekend, and it just makes you really excited for MAC play in your next tournament. And you just want to keep on doing better than you did um, 
And so I think it was a great building block. I think it's a great start off to the season, and I think it's only going to go up from here. And then, Blair, finally, talk about next weekend. You, you, you go on the road for the first time. You play two Power Five conferences. Um, you, got, you got Rutgers uh, mm-hmm. from the Big Ten. You got a Big East program at Seton Hall. You're playing in Seton Hall's home opener. Mm-hmm. You know, what's that challenge going to be like for you guys? Yeah, they're going to bring it, but we're all going in two and one. So I think that's what's really exciting is these guys gained a lot of confidence this past weekend, and I want them to bring that in to an exciting challenge, I think. Uh, but if, if we show up and we play the way we can, I think we'll be, it'll be a fun weekend for us. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks.